Alright, somewhere different. Look at all the boats lined up. Jeez, you don't muck around, do you? So I've checked the signs. I think I'm good to park there. And uh, the gentleman up with the kayak, luckily. Got a solo mission today. That's all looking pretty good. We've got everything here. Down the stairs. So I'm at uh, the Grand boat ramp. Right. And uh, the paddle across the seaway. It's about a 2k paddle. That's a warm up. <laughs> Happy to get some exercise there. And then I'll head on out to Bait Reef, get some wallabies. Have a go for a dew out there. And if I can't get one out there or a cove, still got the snapper band. So I don't want that. And uh, try for a uh, dew on the seaway if I have to. Very easy launch. Alright, let's get going. I think they call this a dry bum launch. So, I'm in the seaway now. Just watching for boats here. There's a few there. I'll keep that. I'll be careful where I go. Just hugging the, the rock wall. Well, up there is where I launched the last time, near the tower. I've got to run out tide. Tide's perfect for fishing here. Another kayak. We've got 7.30 low, so the run out tide's pushing me out. And then I'll, I might come in before 7.30, I don't think. And even if I do, the tide will be slow by then. But yeah, by 7.38, it takes a little, oh, there's a little speed there. A little while to turn. But once it turns, it'll push me in just back to the way I, at the ground there, at the boat ramp. Chair of seafood. So here's a, oh no, there's another boat coming. I'll just stay here. Once this boat's across this channel here, I'll slip across the rock wall and hug that. Keep me away from the traffic. Got one more to go. I'm just watching eyes open where I'm going. Yeah, I'll get to the boat reef before the sun gets up. I want to get out to get bait. 2 k is a bit of a paddle, but a bit of a warm-up, really. And like I said, run out tide pushing out. Alright, let's get out there. Alright, so I'm approaching the pipe here where I launched. A couple of fishermen there. So I could have driven to there. Obviously, that gate's locked till 6. I worked that out. Um, I could have still parked down and walked the kayak down the rocks, but so that took me about 15 minutes to paddle here. Is it really worth it? I don't know. I don't mind paddle, it's a good warm up. So, be happy when I open the border back up. Just not because it's better fishing elsewhere, just because it's a, this is a hassle. You know, everything is a pain. You know, you got to paddle two k's to the mouth instead of just launching straight air. So, yeah, but look, it's all good. Something different. And so, that's where I could have launched right there. Bang, 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 straight down. But, and I'd be here 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Oh, yeah, it's a Saturday. Did I mention that? So it's going to be very busy. Good weather, forecast. So there's going to be a few boats, there's no doubt. I'm sort of expecting that. Anyway, I'm at the mouth in a minute and straight to the boat reef. You get some liveys and then have a fish. Up at the mouth, dodging some fishermen, a few baits. Like I said, just staying on the wall here. There's no swell. I mean, there's pressure waves and waves from boats. That's about it. And there's lights everywhere out there. There's already probably a thousand boats out there. As I said, it's a weekend. But I'm out. And uh, oh, there's a wave. Wow. Look at this. Didn't see that coming. It'll be small at Palmy, but much bigger here. You can see it's open to the south. So, <laughs> maybe a couple of ways off the beach. Still be alright. But not flat. I like it flat. This is flat. So yeah, I don't know. 20, 20 odd minutes paddling. And no getting wet. Waves in the face. Sand. Etc. Trolley. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can live with that. Like I said. Nothing wrong with the paddle. I've got a lot more miles in me than two. I easily do 20 k's in a trip. So two each way is not, not going to hurt me too much. Uh, 
Alright, so just getting them one at a time. But I am getting them. Now that is a bait. Big slimy. Now we're talking. That's liveys done. Always good to get some liveys because that makes a big difference. I've been bitten off a few times there, be Taylor or Bonito. Yeah, I'll show you what I do. I leave them in the footwell and any really small ones, like that one, I'll chuck in the front there, get a bit of gap. Put a couple of smallies in there. He's there for later. They're the reserves. And on this side, so I've got a couple of slimies here, you'll see. That's a small one. And that is pretty small. You can go in there too. All right, let's get going. I've got some bait. You. Anyone wants to jump on a real bait, just let me know. It's <laughs> a paraglider. So you've got the sun coming up and tide change is pretty much right now. So I'd expect to get something straight up. Just heading to my spot. Oh, me mate Scotty's giving me a good mark. I'll give it a go. Um, so I could come off the beach. You see the seaways all the way over there. I could come off the beach like I did the other night, but the other uh, but you don't, then you're not fishing the seaway. You're just fishing this stuff. So yeah, it just depends what you want to do. See, there's some good bait. But yeah, we'll drop those slimies down quick smart. They don't last too long, those big ones in the footwell. So I'll get them on. I've got a big rig here. Look at this thing. Look at the hooks in that. They're nine O's, I think. Nine O hoodlums. And a hundred pound trace and 80 pound braid. <laughs> I'm stuffing around. Oh, oh, is that bait? Jeez, that's a lot of bait. All right, trying to get my head in the game here. All right, let's rig up this slimy and get him down. This is why I brought the big hooks, the big rig and the big rod. Because we're talking caves here, there's something on the sound already. Where's this big one? Is that him? Is that the small one? That's the big one. Alright, you're going on, buddy. Get a decent purchase on that. And then you can go under the chin or you can go in the eye socket or the nose. Let's go on the nose there. Let's get this fella down because there's fish on the sound already. Let's get this happening. I normally like to be on this side, but I've got my other rod on that side, so I do prefer my left if I can lean back. But I'll take a cave on this side if I have to. There's definitely a lot of stuff on the sounder, mostly bait, but I did see a mark. Let's get this down there. Hey, if this goes off, you know it's going to be decent, don't you? You know it. Don't you know it? Cable G. There's the bottom. Get it off the bottom, way off. Don't stuff around the bottom couple of meters. You're just gonna get stupid fish. Like rock cod. All right, so that's set. It might be a little bit tight. Just enough to, well, not tip you over. <laughs> I'll go as tight as I can without tipping myself over, I guess. So that's in the holder. And that's how what will happen if he goes. I might just loosen that a little bit because you know about it when they hit, I tell you. When they go hard. Colour braid's good because you know what colour that they're sitting at. Or oh, like so that's yeah, 20 metres and I'm just I know that's well it's the end of the yellow and the start of the blue, that's perfect. Alright, let's find some fish. So, oh, look at those fellas. <laughs> Where are they going to land? <laughs> In the water. I guess they're going to head. What the hell are they doing? Oh, it might have a motor. No, they're paragliding. Oh, that's a hit. Get ready. That was a hit. Did you see that?
hope he hasn't baited me already. There's a bait there. That definitely got hit. Yeah, there's fish right there. See, that's in the bottom, that's about half, just about halfway. So why would you put your bait in the bottom? You know? That's where the fish sit, I keep saying that. Everyone drops to the bottom and stays in the bottom. Yep, here we go. Yo, yo, dude, I think. Yo, Scotty. Oh, jeez, he's going. Oh. Those nine eyes are doing their job. Oh, I did say I like the other side. Oh. Oh. I think it's a G. Oh, it's a lot of head shakes. A lot. Oh. There he is on the sounder. Oh. See what we got. Oh. Pretty sure it's a big G. I'm just gonna back off a little bit. You don't want to pull those hooks. This is a good fish. Oh, it's a Dewey. Oh, this on a snapper. No, it's a Dewey. Let's have a proper look then. Oh, yes. Scotty. Scotty boy. Geez, that, that's a big one. That is quite big, mate. So, see, I'm loosening the drag right off. Those hooks are often just sitting there. That's a monster of all proportions. That's a big one, Scotty. He told me there was big ones here. And he wasn't lying. He was not lying, Scotty. Where are you? This is a slob. Jeez, that is a big Jew. Now, I'll tell you something. I've shared a lot of marks with a lot of people, but I haven't had too many given to me. Not good ones. Clearly, this is a good one, Scotty. I rate that. So, yeah, I share marks with a lot of people. Don't get too many thanks always, but uh, that is... A big shout out to the Scotty W, the big Scotty Williamson, and his muscles, and those thighs mate. Don't skip leg day buddy, and don't forget the pre-workout. Oh, let's get this in the hatch, eh? Mate, that's a donk. That is a donk, that's a slob. It's a slob mate. Well. That is ridiculous. Oh, Scotty, boy! You're kidding me, he's a donk! Right, that's going straight on the Insta, boys. Hey, that is a donk. Where are they gonna land? I don't get that. Oh, the G's now, we got some bait. Jeez, that'll mark that, that's some bait. Get ready for a <laughs> bit of a lane. I normally tuck it under the legs so it's not tipping the kite, but I'd put me special. I'll just go through this here because people are asking. So that's a pen 25 LD, narrow, narrow spool, 25 NLD, so narrow lever drag. It's got the, the two speed, I don't care for the two speed. Just, I don't need slow speed, you want the high speed. Um, and then that's a 50 pound braid, 80 pound leader and 80 pound trace, and two hoodlum, I think there's six of those, those ones. That's for the yakas. And we've got the big ninos for the, the slimies, or big tailor or bonito. Um, this one here is the beast. 10 to 15 kilo stand up, actually a 15 kilo stand up. 
I just hit gold, and that's a pen school 40 lever drag, uh, 80 pound braid, <laughs> 80 pound leader, oh, 100 pound, I think. <laughs> I'm mucking around. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you this other one while I'm here. Might as well. Uh, this one here. Ah, right, I'll probably go off now. So that's a squall 30 lever drag. Uh, that's got, I think, 40 pounds. Sometimes I put 30, 40 on it, one or the other. And 60 pound trace and then 80 pound lead, uh, 60 pound leader, 80 pound trace and 6 so hoodlums. The rod, that rod there is, you don't need a heavy rod, put plenty of dew on this, 4 to 7 kilo, 7 foot ugly sticks. Overhead. Oh, geez, there's a fish, get ready. Don't want to be getting hit now. Come on. That's a fish, look at that. And that is at least 5 meters off the bottom, at least. That's the length of my kayak. Oh, dolphin. I did say first drop will be the go, did I not? Gotta have a go at the seaway, I guess. Change the tide just to go there, might go and do that. Although I've got another mark to try, might as well. With the braid, I just buy it from China. Cheap stuff. Coloured braid, strand braid, or whatever they call it, it's good stuff. I like Black Magic Tough Trace. That is what I use. I just had a hit then. If it hasn't taken my bait already. Definitely. Oh, yep, yep. Here we go. Jeez. You know a big Jew whack just goes bang on the rod like that. Oh. <clears throat> that is all I got left. Isn't it? That's interesting. So if you can see that bait. It is massive. It's like a destroyer or something. I don't know if you can see it. It's big. That's a long way away and it's huge. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good, it's happening. He's on. <laughs> Here we go. Mate, that looks like a Dewey. Definitely. Is that your first one? Okay. Yeah, no bites until now. Yeah, right. Oh, they just got one. Oh, he's got the lip grips. <laughs> oh, now we're going to grab. That's the way. <laughs> you. Oh, come on. That's, that's Gumby stuff. I thought you were putting on the show. <laughs> Real men don't use a gaff, they use their hands. <laughs> yeah, I got one straight up. Good, like that, good one, metre 20 or something, yeah. Ooh. And he's going on, mate. Oh, and there's a yakka there as well. I didn't even duck. He died slime, was so big, I didn't even know the yakka. Oh, that is a bait and a half. And that's going straight down. Also known as Jew Lolly. So you can see, we're not far offshore. 20 something metres of water, 24 metres of water. No, no, carry it off the, off the beach, mate. Nothing. Easy. Alright, I go to this other spot. There's heaps of boats there. They're getting them, but oh, I'll just go somewhere else. i got a fish to start heading in. Go to the sea, we'll never go. You should be on your kayak. Huh? You should be on your kayak. Be, mate. That's how real men catch them. <laughs> I'm not as brave as you. <laughs> Good luck, mate. <laughs> Oh, 
before I back off a bit here. I should get that other rod off before it goes up. Get that right rod right up before it goes off. Whew. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's really big. <laughs> On the big slimy. Whoa. Hey? Don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> Gotta gaff him first. Thanks, mate. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> Two donkeys. <laughs> Time to go in. <laughs> Keep fishing. I've got what I came for, and now it is time to get the hell out of here. No point catching them and letting them go. Alright, so I'm packed up. Like I said, there's no point fishing when you've got your bag. So, I have to say, I'm pretty set in my ways, but I'll tell you what. This COVID lockdown might, might have been a good thing because, mate, I can't go and do that in New South Wales, catch two donkeys like that. Can to get one? So, anyway, pretty, mate, I'll be back. See, I, straight off the beach, mate. Straight off the beach, eh? Hey. That's the go. You don't even need to go to Seaway, you catch them right here. Seaway's just a last resort, mate. Bit of a paddle now, but I'm enjoying it. Forget New South Wales, I just keep coming here, mate. This is unreal. There's no surf. Like, I could do this without even touching a wave. How easy is it, mate? This is stitch up. What have I been doing all this time going over the border? Mate, I, I keep telling people this fish here. It's too far for me to travel, but you know what? I think it took me 20 minutes this morning. I'll take a bit more going home. But, mate, that is so worth it, that trip. Very happy with. So, yeah, I got like a... 2k paddle in to the wall and then another 2k to the, the ramp and I'm out of here mate too easy Ew. yeah so just approaching the uh, south wall of the seaway now uh, that's where I would have paddled out off the beach although I paddled out further that way the other day but uh, there's a bit of swell there look at that imagine coming through that with whatever how many kilos in my hatch it's pretty way down this guy, so I must admit I might have to paddle another two k's from here to get in. But mate, to avoid that surf and the sand and mucking around, it's so worth it, man. I like a paddle. So, mate, I tell you what, I think I'll just make this my new go-to. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's a joke. Like you're joking me. It's a Saturday morning. Boats everywhere. I got two donkey dew in the hatch. Mate, you're joking me. It's all you need. But yes, yeah, there's a few ways there. There's a junior surf comp on, on right now. Been listening to it all the way while I'm fishing. So, um, so you've only got five meters here, so it'll break in closer there. I better just stay out a bit as I come around the wall. But uh, <laughs> you gotta be careful when there's a bit of swell. But see, I've got run in tide, so no problem with the current. So that's five meters. It's five meters busy, it's pretty clean. Have a bit of a look, see what we can see. But um, yeah, there's boats everywhere. You can jet skis and you name it, fishermen off the wall, sightseers, it's all happening. But there's fish here. All the guys trying for the Seaway Dewey. Don't even need, that's the last resort now. I don't need to do that. Stay offshore. So yeah, how's this? Look, it's a hive of activity. So there you go, if lockdown didn't happen. I would never have done this because I just do what I normally do, you know? A winning formula, but now I've found a, an even more winning formula. Oh, <laughs> look at these jakers, what are they doing? See, now it's dirty. Still got that dirty water. There's a seal? You're kidding me! 
Oh, no way! Oh, have a look. Jeez. He's lost, mate. Is he alright? Oh, he might be playing. Is he playing? <laughs> I don't know. He's waving. You're all kidding me. G'day, mate. I'm just going to have a look and see what he's doing. He might be just having a look. Oh, he's all right. I think. He's all right. He's just having a bit of fun. I think he's all right, eh? No, oh, he's just playing. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, he's fine. Look at that. You're kidding me. We'll just get back because there's a wave here. Gotta watch that. <laughs> I'll get my phone out and have a little bit of a shot. Hello. Yeah, how you going, bud? How you going? You having a bit of a play? Well, there's something you don't see every day. A seal in the Gold Coast Seaway. There you go. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. G'day, mate. How you going? Well, there's something you don't see every day. A seal in the Gold Coast Seaway. There you go. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. G'day, mate. How you going? Hello. That's a boat. See if I can get away. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Oh, that's a boat. The old Port Frederick. A couple of waves. A couple of wavies. This is fun. <laughs> you. This is ridiculous. What a morning. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at the boats, mate. It's just alive with activity. Look at that. <laughs> There's boats everywhere. That's where I came in the other. Oh, he's on. He's on. So I call over and let mate, look at it all. <laughs> this is the stitch up. This is where I came in the other night and then that's where the fence is where you get locked out the gate. <laughs> what a joker. <laughs> that's how it's done. <laughs> what do we got? Meat pies, do we? Oh, <laughs> not donuts, I hope. <laughs> mate, that is service. <laughs> Where's the tax man in that one? <laughs> the only one. Look at the size of that. Sun goddess. <laughs> Mate, this place never ceases to amaze me. I'm loving it. Look at the waves. I'm going to surf that one. So I'm just leaving the seaway walls here. And I've got to cross over to the Grand over there. Now this is main channel between these markers. You've got to be careful here. These boats, they don't look and they're flying. So there's one there. I just got to be careful when I get across here for idiots on boats. So I'm not going unless I see a gap, which I think I do at the moment. Clown on a jet ski, I think he can see me. So at the moment there's no massive boats. So I should be right just to sneak through here, but you do need to be careful. So that's safely negotiated and I'm over there. So almost home. Electric motor. So this whole area here, squid, whiting, brim, flatties, um, well the doggy school mackerel over there, they've moved in. But I've got a few good spot spots over there, big ones, but don't, don't, don't sort of chase flatties. <laughs> you can go on shore and catch dewies. So, but there's a lot of options here. You can catch whiting on stick bait, little stick baits in there. Just flick them on the surface. You know, there's a lot of options here. But uh, maybe when the swell's up and the wind's up, I'll come in here and just have a play. I, mean, I wouldn't mind a couple of squid. 
But anyway, that's for another day. I did pack a squid jig, but I got what I need. So. I wonder if that comes in men's. Come on, put on a show, mate. Come on. Here we go. Yoo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> what a joker. Yeah, good. <laughs> How you going? And here I am. Just gotta get on the beach and get up to the car and the grass there. Ew. I'm gonna come in on this side here. I can just go up that ramp, I think. That's the plan. It's pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so it's a bit slippy on this ramp, but anyway, just got the floating wheels at the moment. Might get up here without slipping over, hopefully. Get up onto the ramp, wheel it up. That's the plan. <laughs> got the floating wheels here. There we go. It's an amphibious vehicle. Try not to slip over, like I said. If I go, uh, just cleaning up here. Have a look at this. So they're pretty much the same size, but one is heaps thicker. Heap, they'd be heaps heavier, mate. Look at the different skinny, and then that one's chunky. That one's not like skinny, skinny. But that one is just fat, chunky. Look at him. Big difference, same size fish, in fact that one's longer. That is unbelievable, that's solid fish. Man. Just lift the back up there and drag, push it on. Oh, I've got them right next to the grass there. The jewies and the fish bag and the esky. And I've got a heaps of ice bricks with I had them in that esky down there. And now they're all still cold and they all go in there. 